right guys so here's the next stage of my build sorry it's taken you know a week or two or whatever to load this video up but yeah this is the next stage anyway um yeah so this stage three is where it starts to sort of get exciting because i turn it in chunks this whole build so i was working at each area at a time if that makes sense so this stage now was basically where it gets exciting as i said and this was turbo clutch exhaust you know these are all fun things you know what i mean so yeah on the on those things it did take a long time so i had to plan stuff accordingly so basically i started off you'll see on the clips and you know the pictures and clips that i put on the i started to strip away the front of the car um obviously to get to the gearbox and stuff because you can do it on ramps or on stands or whatever but because i was doing front mounted intercooler later on and stuff i thought there's no point you know leaving all that stuff on there just take it all off so i got rid of all the front of the car and you know i, I do the clutch as you'll see on there i do a i think it's a g60 flywheel light and flywheel with a sax i think it's all sax actually the flywheel is a sax g60 flywheel sax clutch pressure plate yeah clutch plate pressure plate thrust bearing yeah from a vr6 i don't know actually if the if the if the flywheel was actually sax i don't think it was but anyway it was a light and flywheel i know it was a g60 light and flywheel as you'll see on there and yeah so i did that yeah, that was quite a job in itself getting rid of the gearbox and everything else from there we moved on to the exhaust because once the gearbox is out you got a lot more access on that side of the car so we moved on to the exhaust system and stuff which means obviously what's above the exhaust the turbo so exhaust and turbo sort of worked hand in hand as i mentioned working in the same place at the same time and yeah that was pretty much stage three for me or stage three of the build and you'll see you'll see all the pictures i do um, a lot of comparison so the old parts versus the the new parts you know the comparison in size like the turbo you can see the actual sheer size of the compressor side because i think it's 51 millimeter the beach buggy k280 hybrid turbo versus you know i'd normally mill the actual the normal ko3 s is so yeah you see all that same with the flywheel you see how thick and heavy the original dual clat is it dual mass flywheel is so it's a good indicator of of why you're changing all these parts if that makes sense so i hope you guys enjoy it and yeah i'll i'll put the fourth part out and then pretty much i think it'll be either fourth or fifth where that's pretty much the build finished really performance side of it and um, i hope you guys enjoy it so keep watching and you'll see it all coming up soon cheers bye right guys so i started off by just getting rid of the stuff on the front so slam panel headlights front bumper radiators all that type of stuff next stage was getting the gearbox out so we removed the gearbox um, got rid of the old flywheel which was the dual mass flywheel as you can see that there's no flywheel on there and um, got rid of the turbo at the same time because there's so much space, as I mentioned, you know, once you've removed that gearbox. Then here's all our parts. So we got the um, G60 flywheel and VR6 clutch plate. Um, it comes with different bolts as well because it's a smaller flywheel or thinner flywheel. You need different bolts. So you do get all that in the kit. And yeah, you can actually see the difference in size. It's like less than half the size and less than half the weight. So... There was the flywheel fitted, then here was our VR6 clutch plate, getting it all ready. It was there on my lap, getting a shot of it before it goes in, and there was clutch plate on. And then the gearbox, obviously, I was waiting on my exhaust system to come, and my turbo, so I thought I'd just prep it up nicely, give it a lick of paint. And, you know, obviously you can see in the picture it looks a lot better than, than what it did look like. So then the turbo arrived 
I was a very happy man. And voila. Here we go. K280 hybrid. So, yeah, that was exciting. Um, obviously, you can see a comparison here with the 51 mil compressor to the KL3S. It's, it's huge. And this side, they pretty much look the same. So I prepped up the turbo, got it all primed up nicely, and got that fitted in. After I fitted that, I got the 3-inch DCAT downpipe and just started getting it all in while I was waiting on the exhaust system. And then once the exhaust system arrived, I just bolted that up to our downpipe because the exhaust system was a Miltec 2.5 inch all the way um, with the twin pipes. And um, it's a beautiful exhaust. It's actually large. You don't realize it. Look at it, you know, um, against me there. It's huge. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I'll put the next stage up as soon as possible.